Hi guys, welcome back to Wolverine Women. I'm Danny, alongside teammates, roommates, the Plane Crash Boys, and wow. Big wow. Ten champs, Andrew Dockage and Duncan Robinson, because they just started their own podcast called The Doc and Dunk Show. So I'm gonna ask Dunk, why did you let him put his name first on the show? Uh, you know, it was just one of those battles that I figured I'd let him win. Um, you know, we always say he's got the biggest ego of the two, mm -hmm. so it makes sense that his name would come first. Uh, yeah. To reiterate what he just mm -hmm. said, I had the bigger ego, okay. and I wanted my name first. Because Duncan and Doc sounds totally fine. Sounds way better. It, yeah, it, it I think it was actually unanimously agreed that it does sound better. Yeah. Um, yet we decided to go against the grain for Doc's sake. All right. Which, I was thinking like Dunkin' Donuts, so I thought there was like that was the excuse he came that's up an with. Excuse. That's excuse. That's like, and it's, it's not that, even an excuse. That Dunkin' just, Doc sounded too much like Dunkin' Donuts, which just makes. Absolutely. I, okay. There's already like a dunk. I can dunk, hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. You know okay. it's a lot of them. It's okay. No. <laughs> no, I get we'll it. With that. Um, your last podcast came out a couple days ago. You had Nigel Hayes as guest. You guys talk about life, basketball, girlfriends. So did you just wake up one day and say, I'm going to do a podcast with my roommate? You want to take this one? Um, so Duncan actually had the idea mm -hmm. early on in the season and we never, it never came around. And then finally before the Big Ten tournament, we hit up Tom Wyrot, who's our media mm -hmm. relations guy, and he get, gave us a great producer, so shout out to Leo Blavin. Leo. We know him, he does Wolf, he does guy. Big Ten Network. Unbelievable guy. Very distinct voice, he's amazing. Yeah, he is. Yes. He should be on the show more. We don't get him on the show enough. He's just right. back there doing his thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we started right before the Big Ten Tournament, and you know, the plane crash happened, and actually we had this huge mic, and it was underneath uh, the plane and we couldn't get underneath the plane until the next day because of the uh -huh. whole ditch thing and That's what that's why we wore the practice jerseys, right? So um, We're like this may not be destined to happen, but if we get it back, this is great podcast material um, You know going through a plane crash and mm -hmm. let our uh, our thoughts Elaborate on our thoughts really right. Yeah, so yeah, I mean he kind of said it. it was really I remember after we had gotten off the plane safely uh, I think we looked at each other and we were like, well, we have to start it now. It's destined. Uh, no better time. So, yeah, we just kind of jumped into it, and it's been fun ever since, so keeping it going. Lots of basketball ahead of both of you, but is could this be a career for you guys? Um, It, it could be. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think, I'm going to start the ego thing. I think I have a face for TV. He may be more radio. You both do. He, may, no. he <laughs> may be for radio, but okay. I think I'm TV, he's radio. Mm -hmm. Face for radio. Um, no, but you know, it's just fun thing to do. Uh, you know, obviously we have classes and basketball all day and just to do something um, unique um, and just kind of just talk about what we, how we feel about our team. We kind of say we're like the media away from the media. So like Mo, Mo Wagner will come on the show mm -hmm. and we don't want like the media answers. We want like the real Mo Wagner. Right, right. It's just like a normal conversation we'd have mm -hmm. at our apartment or something, so. So is camera or being just behind a microphone easier? Which, which one do you guys prefer? Because we're on camera right now, but yeah. usually you guys aren't. I feel pretty podcast. comfortable uh, behind both, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Um, but I don't know. I, uh, back to the uh, the other question in terms of in the future, it could be. I, I wouldn't count anything out. Um, but I will say, like, I've enjoyed it so much. I didn't think that I would enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, it's been a ton of fun, and we've got a ton of positive feedback, which we really appreciate as well. D has your dad chimed in at all yet? Uh, he's, the Dan Dockett. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, he's listened a little bit, but I, I don't think he, um, you know, I think I'm gonna make a run for his money because I'm about to graduate. I may mm -hmm. need a job, and you know, I've co-hosted with him a couple times, mm -hmm. so um, you know, it's been a great thing to do, um, and it's been fun to do it with my my roommate, and my buddy Duncan. So okay, we know what's up next for Dunk. He'll stay another season at Michigan. Can you can you tell us what you're doing next year mm, at all? The yeah. announcement. You know that that's the a big announcement. Yeah. The big announcement. Can we I, have I wish, it on Wolf Women? I honestly wish I could tell you. Okay. You guys probably know as much as I do because I have zero clue where I'll be in Got the next. Got some things in the works. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for it. Right. But I mean, I the next two months I have no idea where I'll be, which is kind of scary because considering I'm graduating. And I exciting. Should, and exciting. It's exciting sure, yeah. it's exciting. Gotta be an optimist but, about the yeah, whole thing. That's true. But, that's very true. Okay, so in your podcast. Um, with Nigel Hayes, you asked him what he thinks his wife is doing at this current moment. I love the question. Future wife. Future wife. Oh, duh. Yeah, yeah, it's future yeah. wife. That's I love the question. Yeah. Um, but you have to, like, I'm not going to steal your thunder. You have to start somewhere else, like, before, way before that. So how does a girl, a woman, capture a Michigan basketball player's attention? Mm. I think everyone wants to know the answer. 
Um, I'll, ahead, I'll start it off. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd just say about being a, a good person. Yeah. Um, How do you know they're a good person? Well, and that, you know, it leads me to my second point, okay. which I was going to get to. Okay. Um, but I'll say this: I, I appreciate like a little boldness, a little courage. Um, you know, someone who can kind of step up. Uh, personally, I, I do appreciate it. that's just me. Uh, but like you said, you know, a good person, uh, you know, family's got to come first. Duncan, <laughs> how do you know this stuff? You got, I mean, they got to the they gotta kind of approach. Right how does she get your attention in the first place? Like I said, something oh like. My, like you're going to look at a girl and you're going to be like, she has a great family. And then you're going to be attracted. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's come actually on, a come joke. On. That's, yeah. But I don't know if we can get <laughs> no, into it. No, no, we can, <laughs> we can stay away from that. We no, can, I, yeah. like I said, I just think the, like, Stepping, watching somebody step out of their comfort zone mm -hmm. to show that, you know, maybe they're interested in me, I think that goes a long way. Okay. I'm going to go different out with this. I'm all about the chase. Um, you know, so I'm taking it. Carly made Yeah, chase yeah, her. she okay. made me chase okay. her. Yeah. And so. I take it. Shout out to Carly. Yeah, I yeah, take shout it. Shout out to Carly. Also, girl. We're just throwing out. Yeah, shout out to Carly <laughs> Bennett okay. out there. She okay. deserves it. <laughs> no, keep on going. Yeah, you didn't answer the question. You didn't answer it. No, you didn't answer it. No. You know, she um, she made me chase. She did, she didn't give me the time of day. Um, I had to put in more work um, mm. than I normally do. For no, I mean, okay, <laughs> that's so great. I she she's I mean, she's given me. I, I could talk to her, but like, mm -hmm. I couldn't take her out on a date. Like, she made me earn a date, and then um, luckily it worked out for the best. Okay. As of right now. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Back to the podcast. Is there a big message you guys want to get out from from doing this? Um, I think it just kind of shows, you know, like people see us on TV um, playing the game we love. Mm -hmm. So that's like really all they see. And then obviously maybe sometimes the media will ask us questions, but it's in particular about games. Like me and du Duncan and I have kind of, you know, huh? Great job. Oh, the English yeah, Michigan yeah, difference job. right there. Me and Duncan, Duncan great and I. Job. Um, you know, we, it's more perspective on like our thoughts about, you know, the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. um, li we like to say it's an educational podcast. Mm -hmm. We have this big fact of the day segment. Um, Great stuff in there. Yeah, yeah it so, really does educate yeah. people. Yeah, I was yeah. educated when I listened to it. I sense the sarcasm in that one, but <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, no, it's just, it's just us talking, like it's us talking in our apartments um, with our great roommates, Mark Tunnell and Sean Lonergan. Just, um, talking in front of the television, watching sports. So it's kind of just, now people get to listen to it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll so. say going off of, of what Andrew said, you know, people do you know, see us on TV playing. Um, and I think that the perspective of us as only basketball players kind of gets showed. And mm -hmm. to give, you know, people a, a medium to not only see us, but like you said, our teammates Mo coming in and yeah. talking about how he loves The Bachelor. Um, oh or DJ, you know, giving inside stories about, you know, kind of the struggles he went through early on in his career. So I think it, it's cool. I think it gives just a, a different perspective than you might see in the, you know, typical mainstream media. So I think we're happy to do it and we enjoy doing it. All right. Last question. Will there be a woman anytime on the dock and dunk show? That's a great question. That is a great question. You may have yeah, to you be, might the be the first guest. I would um, be honored, not that I was trying to like Yeah, yeah. Can, we, have to, do can that. we get that in writing before we leave? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Hold you to that. You yes. may have to earn it. There's some candidates out there that I've been talking about. Ah, but yes. uh, you yeah, know, this first. this this definitely helps getting okay. us on your guys' yeah. Uh, TV show. So Love appreciate it. that. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next week on Wolverine Women. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. <laughs>